Longtime whole dog journal editor Nancy Kearns sent out all her loyal readers. They've they've been following her nearly 16 year old dog Otto, you know, for, for a long, long time. A lot of them even knew when she got him as a six month old puppy as a stray. Anyhow, she was talking about. I told you guys this how. You know, all, he's on four different pain medications. She she knows it's 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 you know uh, going to be time soon to have him euthanized. He's an outdoor dog, so he has some dementia and he gets really he can't stand being hot, and his dementia will cause him to think he can go outside and be in the sandbox they built for him, and and just but it's too hot outside. Then he wants to come back inside. Then he wants to go back outside, um, like several times a night and Nancy adores him and she tolerates that and whatever and she just she was supposed to euthanize him nine months ago and she got ex nine extra months from him because she was going to euthanize him because he was so miserable in the heat where they live they have a, a, oppressive heat and and his uh, he has arthritis he's on four different pain medications but he recently didn't want to eat, and that was just, she knew it was coming up the summer, it was going to be miserable for him for months again, and she just couldn't stand to watch him suffer, you know, she calls him her wobbly old guy, and, you know, and, and he can't walk, barely, it's, it's like Omar can't walk, but he can, he can, you know, this was an outdoor dog who's always been a proud dog, and, you know, um, She had him euthanized. I read her whole tribute to him. He became like the the featured in the whole dog journal. He had his picture featured. He just was but anyway. I was bawling, I was crying, and then I read 115 comments underneath where people tell them everyone is sharing their story of having to either having to get their dog euthanized or getting close to the point and. Nancy had a dog die on her before, and because she, she said and it was Rupert or something, but maybe that dog died naturally because she said, you know, I always would say that maybe this is the first dog she's ever had to make that agonizing decision whether or not to, you know, have him euthanized. Is it too early? Is it too late? And people wrote in comments too, you know, yeah, you know, you don't know what to do. Are you being selfish? Are you doing it, keeping the dog? For, for yourself or for, for him or her or the dog, but the dog doesn't know anything, so it's always you're keeping the dog around for you. It's always that you're being selfish. But Nancy said, you know, I always said, you know, it's better to do it a day early than a day late, but I'll never be so quick to, to, I, to easily say that to anybody again because she said, I've said it to, to people, to friends, to myself, but whatever, and, and, but once you have to be in that situation, it's another matter entirely. There are people who wrote comments. You know, they they have their dogs still stay around when they have cancer, when they, you know, all, all these things. But Nancy just knew that that it was going to be another bad thing with them. Him, the poor Otto being miserable because the heat he can't stand, and his dementia is getting worse, and his arthritis is getting worse, and and he just when he wouldn't eat, he was refusing to eat. And he loves to eat, you know. If Omar was ever refusing to eat, I mean, Omar's my puppy. When he's eating, you'd think he was still a puppy. He's, he can't get up. He struggles to get up um, if he just accepts it. So today, I'd only slept for four hours. I'd only slept for four hours. Omar went up and did all his duty as he did fantastic bowel movements as usual, or the pee, pee the whole nine yards, but then he's slept since one, so I've slept since three, three to seven, he slept one to seven, he wants to eat, but I'm too tired, I can't feed him that early, I can't get him used to feed him, being feed him that early, I can't do it. Um, he was fidgety, so I eat, but he was willing to sleep in my arms, in an awkward position, woke up and my arm was hurting me, I had to have him underneath my arm, but he fell right to sleep, 
again. He's like my old puppy again. And he, we fell back to sleep for hours. 7.30 to 10.30. And church woman, you know. 2.0 or a new and improved church woman who, you know, is quick to want to help me out if she can help me out, help my mom out, but who isn't so quick to just think she has all the answers, like church woman, you know, original church woman and so bossy and whatever. This one's not like that at all. She's like, well, I said, you know, I, would, I don't want to ever put, have been in that agonized decision whether or not I should put my Omar, my baby, who I've had for 16 years, to sleep. And she's like, well, but you should pray that, that you know, that, that God will, will just, you know, take him into sleep. But that rarely happens. So. And lo and behold, this does work. I used it yesterday. I will use it every day. I don't feel like it's doing anything. I feel like I'm not doing it correctly. But if I use it every day, even though I missed the first week, because I didn't understand about it, I thought it was broken. It's not broken. It, it was on low, and I didn't see it charge the battery down here. And I think it's because... It probably was already charged, and it, it it doesn't light up unless you need to charge it. In any case, it works. It goes to medium to high. I start off a low, of course. I don't feel like it's doing anything. You could use it in the shower. Um, it seems okay to me. People had complaints that they can't get this off. I like it has a diagram for me, so I don't have to mess up and forget. This is how you unlock it. Comes off fine in my eyes. Put it back on, lock it up. This thing goes on tight, I don't have to be afraid. Some of you know that story, I'm afraid of these things. That they might come out or something in my mouth. I, I told you guys that story, I'm not gonna repeat it right now. My mom just went to get the mail, she's gonna be right back. And it clicks off like that. I love it. I don't know if all do that. They should. I believe they don't though. I believe instead of having this button where you feel really safe maybe with the button, you're not going anywhere near the button when you're holding it. I'm not going anywhere near the button, okay, holding it down here. Some of them, I'm afraid that this will pop off or something. And I told that story. I can't tell it now again. But it's a phobia of mine.